The Life and Sad Ending of Mela Nurmi. Mela Nurmi was born on December 11, 1922, in Massachusetts, to Oni Surjanan, a Finnish immigrant, and Sophia Peterson, an American of Finnish descent. During her childhood, Nurmi relocated with her family from Massachusetts to Ashtabula, Ohio, before settling in Astoria, Oregon, a city on the Oregon coast with a large Finnish community. Her father worked as a lecturer and editor, and her mother also worked as a part time journalist and translator to support the family. She graduated from Astoria High School in 1940. In 1940, Nurmi relocated to Los Angeles, California to pursue an acting career and later to New York City. She modeled for Alberto Vargas, Bernard of Hollywood, and Man Ray, gaining a foothold in the film industry with an uncredited role in Victor Saville's 1947 film If Winter Comes. She was reportedly fired in 1944 by Mae West from the cast of West's Broadway play. Catherine was great because West feared she was being upstaged. On Broadway, she gained much attention after appearing in the horror themed midnight show Spook Scandals, in which she screamed, fainted, lay in a coffin, and seductively lurked about a mock cemetery. She also worked as a showgirl for the Earl Carroll Theatre and as a high kicking chorus line dancer at the Florentine Gardens, along with stripper Lily St. Cyr. In the 1950s, she supported herself mainly by posing for pinup photos in men's magazines, such as Famous Models, Gala, and Glamorous Models. Before landing her role as Vampira, she was working as a hat check girl in a cloakroom on Hollywood's Sunset Strip. Nurmi's luck turned when she was noticed by television producer Hunt Stromberg Jr. Stromberg saw her at a masquerade ball hosted by Lester Horton. In 1953, where she was wearing a dress imitating Morticia Adams from Charles Adams' New Yorker cartoons. Her skin fit the black dress, and pale white skin caught his attention. Stromberg invited Mela Nurmi to host the late night show of the newly syndicated classic horror movies on the Los Angeles television station KABC TV. Her duty as host was to attract viewers to stay awake at midnight. To watch the station's fearful shows. Nurmi developed the character of Vampira from Morticia Adams by increasing the sex appeal of the character. She thought that sex and death were a great combination to attract viewers. She added to her sex appeal by wearing an impossibly tight corset, long stilettos, and an extra long fingernails. Her character also had the influence of the Dragon Lady from Terry and the Pirates. And also the evil queen from the Disney movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Vampire Show premiered in 1954 and was an instant success. Her role as Vampire demanded her to introduce the evening's feature film, which was a low budget horror movie like White Zombie. Vampire began each show by sliding down a dark, misty hallway. Stopping in front of the camera to emit a blood curdling scream and say, Screaming relaxes me so, and then striking a seductive pose. She would then introduce and mock the evening's film while sitting on a couch made of skulls. Her ghoulish comedy included making martinis with eyeballs instead of olives and offering viewers epitaphs instead of autographs. She wished the viewers good night by saying, Bad dreams, darlings. After her show took off, she made appearances on The Red Skeleton Show, The Ed Sullivan Show, and many more. She rode around Los Angeles in a chauffeured 1932 Packard and roamed the streets in vampire drag while she sat holding a black parasol. She also ran for Nightmare of Hollywood with a list of dead issues. Tragedy struck when her close friend and Hollywood icon, James Dean, died in a car racing accident. Dean's death erupted controversies, centering on Mela with a magazine expose, claiming Dean's death was perpetuated by Nurmi using black magic. Nurmi's rumored link to the tragedy, along with the warning issued by the FCC about her grotesque dialogues on her show, 
led to the termination of the show in 1955 by KABC, just after a year, despite the show grossing a large number of viewers. She refused to sell the rights of Vampira to television. Even though the show was canceled, she never stopped being Vampira. She did a brief stint on a rival channel and later went on to act in several movies, including Too Much Too Soon and The Big Operator. She then appeared in the Ed Wood's horror movie Plan 9 from Outer Space. This was dubbed as the worst movie ever made. She went on to do movies like I Passed for White in 1960, Sex Kittens Go to College 1960, and The Magic Sword 1962. In the 1960s, she also opened her own clothing line and jewelry called Vampire's Attic. In 1981, Nermi was asked by KHJ TV to revive her vampire character for television. She worked closely with the producers of the new show and was able to get an executive producer credit, but Nermi eventually left the project over creative differences. According to Nermi, this was because the station cast comedic actress Cassandra Peterson in the part without consulting her. In 1986, she appeared alongside Tomata Duplenty of The Screamers in Renee Dalder's punk rock musical Population One, which was released on DVD in October 2008. With the personal life, Mela Nermi married Dean Reisner, the child actor turned screenwriter, in 1949. The marriage ended after her show was canceled by KABC. She married her second husband, actor John Brinkley, on March 10, 1958. This marriage, too, was short lived. She married actor Fabrizio Mioni on June 20, 1961. She had no children from any of her marriages. Sadly, on January 10, 2008, Nermi died at her home in Hollywood at the age of 85. She was buried in the Griffith Lawn section of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery.